So this is my current air fryer. Uh, honestly, one of the best purchases I've ever made. It saves me so much time. You can put all sorts in there. We do jacket potatoes, um, chips, chicken, all sorts of things. Um, and it just takes the stress out of cooking so much. Um, and the reason uh, that I'm upgrading uh, is because I want to be able to do more things in it. So this is a, like a kind of smaller one, so it's got kind of the one basket. So you can only really do one thing at a time. So I just wanted to upgrade so I could do a, a few more bits all together. So here it is, my 12 litre air fryer oven. Um, so I loved using my little one so much, I wanted to get a bigger one so that I could do more with it, um, especially like things like this, a rotisserie chicken, that could be pretty amazing. Uh, and we're going to try that out a little bit later on. Uh, so this one comes with loads of accessories, so you've got your drip tray, uh, cage tongue, rotisserie fork, wire rack, mesh basket and a rolling cage and one of the reviews that i read on this as well said that it's really really easy to clean so that was a, a good selling point for me really Thing. I might do it, I might do it. Nice thing there. Nice little tray. That'd be good for chips and things like that. Potatoes. I'm assuming right at the bottom. That's your drip tray. I have read some tips in terms of this, is to actually cover it with foil um, to kind of preserve it a little bit. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm sure we'll give it a try. So here it is, my brand spanking new air fryer, hopefully with a lot more room in so I can do multiple things uh, at a time. So if we open it up here, uh, as we looked at it when we unboxed it, we've got the drip tray. Uh, I'm going to call this a chip tray, might be right, might be wrong. Uh, and then we've got another rack as well. So like I said, sometimes I want to do a couple of things at once. So maybe I could do the chicken and, and chips all at once. I'm dead inventive, aren't I? I mean, chicken and chips. Um, we've got all the instructions up here, all kind of uh, all the buttons that we need. So we're going to play about with those in a minute. Uh, one thing that I thought was really cool is if we just take these out. We have... Uh, so we've got that there so I mean obviously it's going to be too hot to take out with your hands or your oven gloves so you get kind of like this contraption uh, so you can just kind of hook it up and bring it out safely so let's look at some of these buttons then so obviously on off switch if it works anything like mine uh, it will be really really simple so just a quick overview of how it all works then really. So it's really simple to use, obviously on and off. And um, what I like about this is all the presets. There were a couple of presets in my last one, but there's loads here. And um, so you can, you know, go through frozen food, wings, dehydrate, steak, fries, fish, vegetables, popcorn, chicken, cake, skewer, pizza, keep warm. Oh, that's a good function. Uh, toast and cookie. So, uh, let's say we're making a steak, you just hit the menu button until you highlight steak. 
so that's preset uh, 180 for 12 minutes say maybe you like your steak a little bit rare and you needed to change the time then you just simply hit the time and bring it down a little bit and um, same thing with temperature if you needed to increase your temperature hit the temperature button up or down and um, the other feature that it's got there as you can see it's lit up is the rotisserie and um, that helps not just for chicken um, but it helps kind of um, heat food all the way through as well uh, so I cannot wait to, to check this baby out with some actual real food so let's give it a go I'm really sorry I didn't get a clean aftershot but it was too juicy and smelt too good we just had to tuck into it and it only took one hour going in for my two-year-old's favorite tea chicken nuggets and chips and the good thing that I actually found out about this is you don't need to preheat it because it heats up that fast Does the job? Chicken nuggets and chips. Chicken nuggets and fries. Oh, do you like them? They're your favourite. You happy? Hi guys, thanks for watching my air fryer unboxing um, and usage. Apologies, right, because every time I went to make stuff in there, my intention was to film the uh, start of it and the end of it. I just kept forgetting. I was putting stuff in and then when it was coming out, it just looked so good. I just had to eat it. And then afterwards I was like, oh my God. So, so far I've, I've done sweet potatoes, jacket potatoes, um, crispy chicken wings. Um, we've done eggs in there. We've done, you can do a cheese toasty, a simple thing like that as well. Um, obviously we've done loads of chips and chicken uh, and things like that. So it's a fantastic, fantastic air fryer. I don't know what I would do without it in my life. Um, I did, cause it's uh, kind of coming up to Christmas now. I did some pigs in blankets now in the oven it takes 45 minutes and in that air fryer it took 10 uh, so it's absolutely a hundred percent lifesaver I absolutely love it I'll put the link down below for the one that I've got so that you can have a look and have a, have a little browse about uh, thanks so much for watching if you like this please do subscribe I'll try and get some more air fryer stuff done and um, maybe do things that I've not done before like bake a cake in the air fryer um, and we'll uh, we'll try and get some recipes uh, rolling out for you please do subscribe hit the notification bell i do have a podcast as well i'll put that link uh, down below please check everything out thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it i appreciate your time and hopefully see you again soon thanks bye